Well, Thursday, Thursday, you know what that means. Let's get back on the water with Ray and Mandy. This week they talk about crappie and sun fishing tools. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the things that you can use to catch panfish. Sunfish, crappies, bluegills, you know, they're all bluegills and sunfish are different species, but they're all panfish. The number one fishing, uh, the number one sought after fish rather in the United States is the bass, and the number two is the crappie. And we're going to talk just a little bit about the things that you can use to catch them because it's really important to use the right kind of product. So what I've got here right, is for crappie fishing. This is my hands down favorite way when I'm going to chase crappie. I've got a, a casting bobber on, I've got four pound test line, a 1 16th jig head, and what I've got on right now is a paddle tail, but you can use multiple different uh, plastics to put on here. I don't use live bait most of the time. Uh, these little plastics and a jig head is all you need. There are also products on the market if you don't want to use live bait, and there's certainly nothing wrong with using live leeches or night crawlers or grasshoppers. Panfish will bite on a variety of flies. You can buy commercial flies. But there's a, a whole bunch of products made by Berkeley, and I'm not promoting the Berkeley company, but these are really good. These are called crappie nibbles. And I'll show you in my hand because everything is rather small. But the little greenish uh, colored ones are the crappie nibbles. And this is a imitation worm. And these are not real, but they're made out of real fish parts. So to fish, they taste real. And then we also have a very small leech. And all of these can be put on small little single hooks, or they can be put on small little jigs. And you can jig them. You can cast them out into the deeper water and, and bring it into the weed line and jig it. Or you can put it under a bobber. And when you see these go down, bang, you set the hook and you got them. So these are all some very basic things that you could buy at the store that work really well for panfish. And I can guarantee you, they all work. And like Mandy said, that little puddle jumper she has, that's a phenomenal crappie bait. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Yerk, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.